I founded Bridges to Life in 1998 after the brutal murder of my sister Marilyn led me to a dark place of anger, hurt, and unforgiveness. After years of soul searching and prayer, I was able to forgive my sister's killers and find a place in my heart for both victims and offenders alike. And Bridges to Life was born. The mission of Bridges to Life is to connect communities to prisons in an effort to reduce the recidivism rate, particularly that resulting from violent crimes, and reduce the number of crime victims and enhance public safety. The spiritual mission of Bridges to Life is to minister to victims and offenders in an effort to show them the transforming power of God's love and forgiveness. The Bridges to Life program has two main goals. Number one, to reduce recidivism rates of program graduates. And two, to facilitate the healing process for victims and offenders. This will lead to reduced crime and enhance public safety. In order to effectively accomplish these goals, with over 3,000 inmates and 400 volunteers each year, we need well-trained and dedicated staff, loyal and dependable volunteers, and strong leadership with significant involvement from our board. By involving victims, volunteer facilitators, offenders, and the community in our approach, Bridges to Life attempts to address some of the social root causes of crime and ask offenders to take responsibility for their crimes. We utilize a proven 14-week curriculum and a confidential small group format to provide both victims and offenders a safe place to share, explore, and heal. We ask questions and listen to the inmates rather than preach or lecture to them. Unlike most of prison life, we allow them to be active participants with a voice that is heard and given value. We treat them with respect so they can learn to respect themselves and make the necessary changes to lead a respectable life. Bridges to Life has been a very effective organization for a number of reasons. The primary attributes of our organization are a unique approach utilizing victim impact, a proven curriculum emphasizing moral principles, confidential small groups, personal stories, volunteer facilitators, capable staff, good leadership, and a strong board. Annually, about 400 volunteers donate over 35,000 service hours. We know we're successful if the recidivism rates of our graduate offenders are lower than the average and if our victim volunteers are experiencing healing. An offender recidivates if he or she returns to prison within three years of release. To measure recidivism rates, we work with the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to track our graduates upon release. Our average rate of recidivism among graduates has been about 18% compared to a national average of 40%. Pre- and post-evaluations coordinated by a University of Texas social work professor has shown a significant change in the areas of empathy, forgiveness, relationship with others, and relationship with God. We measure the healing of our victim volunteers through evaluations, feedback, and conversations. We have heard from many victim volunteers and inmates that doing Bridges to Life has saved their life. We also know we are successful by the return rate of our volunteers. Since 2000, over 1,000 volunteers have completed Bridges to Life projects, and over 75% return to do more than one project. Many have consistently volunteered for 10 years or more. First, Bridges to Life is not soft on crime. Our curriculum and our volunteers hold offenders to a high level of accountability in order to receive a graduation certificate. Also, you don't have to be a victim of crime to be a volunteer at Bridges to Life, nor do you have to receive any special training. Anyone with a willing heart and a listening ear can be very effective at this process.
Since our inception in 2000, more than 19,000 offenders have graduated from Bridges to Life programs with the help of over 1,000 volunteers. Our statistics are evidence that graduation from the Bridges to Life program is correlated with a lower rate of recidivism. That success, coupled with verbal feedback from offenders, not only tells us that we are accomplishing our goal of reducing recidivism, but has prompted many prison wardens and chaplains across the state of Texas to request our program in their prisons. The Bridges to Life curriculum has also been used in 10 other states and three other countries. Bridges to Life volunteers have won numerous local, state, and national awards for their dedicated work within the system, and we've been highlighted in many print and television mediums. Bridges to Life has faced the daunting task of adequately describing the importance of our work to the general public. Unless crime has directly affected someone, it can be difficult to convey the importance of lowering the recidivism rate of offenders to the public. This has presented challenges to fundraising over the years. Another challenge we face is navigating the criminal justice system. As volunteers in the prisons, we are there as guests and routinely face disruptions to our schedules and often experience resistance to our program from inherent problems and some individuals within the system. Our antidote to both challenges is education about our mission and our goals, plus a large dose of patience and perseverance. The more people understand what Bridges to Life is trying to do, the more open they are to accepting and supporting our program. We don't have any long-term financial commitments, so we must raise our entire budget year by year. If sufficient additional resources are available, we will continue our expansion to new areas of Texas by adding staff and management. We could further explore the feasibility of expanding our juvenile program and also help others outside of Texas to start the program in their state. As we have experienced significant growth, we now need to add a management position for the 10 regional coordinators. Also, we have considered adding an aftercare case manager to direct our graduates to resources for employment and other needs upon release from prison. You can help Bridges to Life continue our mission by volunteering, donating, or praying for our continued success in healing victims, rehabilitating offenders, and enhancing the safety of our communities.